Hello, my name is Jim Berry, horticulturalist, plant breeder, and nurseryman. For the last five years, I've had the excitement of bringing to market the black diamond crepe myrtles. Black diamond crepe myrtles are taking the horticultural world by storm, from South Africa to China, to Japan, to Europe, to our own backyard. Black foliage, beautiful flowers. Let's take a look at the various methods of pruning crepe myrtles. Black diamond crepe myrtles can be trained to be a small tree, large shrub, or small shrub. Let me demonstrate how I would train my crepe myrtle to be a small tree. First, you look at the shrub overall and you determine you, which are the strongest branches going up and which are the smallest. And it's pretty simple. I'm gonna pick this one, these two, and probably this one. Let's get started by removing some of these small lower limbs because ultimately that's what we're going to do is remove all of the small limbs below this level. My pair of clippers will clip real close to the stem on this side and on this side it would leave a little outcrop. So you want to use a clipper that cuts smooth to the stem of the plant. So I'm just gonna get busy. What did I say I was gonna do? Remove all the small branches from this point down. So I'm gonna be busy doing that. And I think as you, as more I remove, the more you can see the vision of a small tree developing. You see I've removed all the small branches from the lower portion of this shrub, and now it's beginning to take shape as a small tree. This is a beginning. As a tree grows and matures over time, you may need to do some light maintenance by keeping all small growth removed from the lower branches. Do that for a couple of years, and then I think your job is done. This is called a multi-trunk tree farm black diamond crepe myrtle. Enjoy. Black diamond crepe myrtles are very versatile in the landscape. If I want this mystic magenta to be a large shrub, I can train it to be that. If I want it to be a small shrub, I'll show you how to do that. In this instance, I want a large shrub that's full of foliage and flowers from top to bottom. Let me show you what I would do with this plant to encourage that overall fullness and flowering. First off, the best month for pruning is February. Crepe myrtles are very relaxed and can be pruned anytime, but if you uh, want to do it optimally, then do it in February. But for right now, I look at this shrub and it's a little out of shape. So I want it to even, even it up and I'll remove these taller, taller portions first to get the height uniformity. I'm happy with the height. Now it's a little spreading. So I want to do some pruning to make it more compact in the body of the plant. And you do that by simply just going around and selecting a few of the outermost limbs. And I don't think I need to do anything else to that. That's uh, pruning it for a large shrub shape. If you plant your black diamond in a mixed shrub border or perennial border and you want it to maintain a smaller format, then uh, I like to use this technique of pruning. It's rather drastic, it's rather easy, it always should be done in February. And I cut them all the way to the ground, essentially uh, about three inches. That's all there is to it. And as the spring growth comes on, it will get about this tall and flower. Therefore, although the plant wants to be eight to 12 feet tall, you make it stay three to four foot tall to fit your garden space. 